Hello everyone, welcome to A Thief 2, The Metal Age. Finally, I'm back into the Thief universe after, I don't know, it's been somewhere between two weeks and a month, I'm not quite sure. So I've taken a little break, and now I'm ready to get into Thief 2. This time I'm running the, uh, I think it's called Taffer Patcher, or something like that. Um, I think for Thief 1 I ran T-Fix. So this is kind of like uh, the same sort of idea, it uses the new dark patch, and it kind of just combines a bunch of fixes and graphical improvements and all sorts of things. Uh, so it's like a combination mod pack, patch pack sort of thing for Thief. So Taffer Patcher is the version of that for Thief 2. I'm running it, and I've already started the game just to make sure everything works, and got all my controls dialed down, and etc, etc, and everything looks great. I love the mod community. It's it's amazing that after... What's well, been... When did this game come out? I think, it, I think this game came out in 1998 or 1999. So it's been about 14 years. 14 years since this game came out, and people have released a patch, completely for free, just community-made patch. That makes it so much better and runs so much better on modern hardware. That's just amazing. It's beautiful. I love it. Alright, so um, let's get going. New game. <laughs> I love the fact that in Thief 2, just like Thief 1, the lowest difficulty setting is normal. There's no such thing as easy. I love that. Start game, here we go. I've always equated feelings with getting caught. They both get in the way of my money. Unfortunately, not everyone is as committed to their work as I am. An old associate of mine, Basso the Boxman, wants to marry Lady Rumford's chambermaid, Genevieve, and live happily ever after. Guess prison life spoiled his taste for thievery. Too bad for Basso that Lady Rumford has other plans. Marriage would void Genevieve's indentured service contract, so Rumford is keeping her confined in the estate with the rest of her worldly possessions. Basso has asked for my assistance on getting her out. Since infiltration is my specialty, I make it a policy never to take a job so sentimental, but the Rumford Manor could be a lucrative opportunity for a man like me. It would also mean that Basso would owe me a favor, and in this line of work you can never have too many of those. I'll sneak in after dark and clear a path for Basso so he can rescue his damsel in distress. Along the way I'll pick up a few souvenirs for the local pawn shops. That should make all this aggravation worthwhile. Otherwise, I'll make Basso wish he was still rotting in Crag's cleft. This proves it. Going legit is more trouble than it's worth. Alright, once you're ready for Basso to go, give the signal using the bird call he gave you. You have to be close enough for him to hear it. Alright, makes sense, so I, have to, I need to clear the way. Help Basso and Genevieve get out of the mansion together. You'll need to scout ahead to make sure Basso's route is safe. All right, Genevieve would be a, would be a guest if anybody died because of this. Don't kill anyone. Well, that's not going to be hard because that's the way I play the game. That's the way I played the first one too, and I'm going to be doing the same thing here, where I try to kill no one if possible, just knock them out or avoid them. <clears throat> Although, <laughs> towards the end of Thief One, I think I ended up killing some people. Yeah, actually, I definitely ended up killing some people. But I'm going to try as long as possible not to kill anyone. So continue, let's go. I sprung the lock on the side door for you, Garrett. It's the only good way in. Alright, thank you very much. It's interesting, I just realized that when I spawned into this level, I didn't fall from the sky. That's disappointing, because that was one of my favorite features of Thief 1. The every time you start a level, you fall out of the sky as if you've been dropped from a UFO. I love that. Alright, so I have my controls dialed down, I think. Yeah, by default I walk, I hold shift to sprint, press control to toggle crouch. I can creep using tab, like this. So man, I can go really slow, I can crouch and then creep. Look at that. Alright. And then inventory items. Clear them out using alt, yeah. There's one thing though that I read in the manual 
<laughs> I actually read the manual for the game. Haven't truly read a manual for a game in a long time, because usually they don't have them. Uh, but I read it, and it said that Garrett's new mechanical eye, since I lost my eye in the last game... Better check my map. Since I lost my eye in the last game and got the, mechan the mechanical eye, I can now zoom in and zoom out using it. It has some optics in it. Um, so let me check the controls for that. I don't actually know what those are. Not sure what the controls are. Let's see. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Uh, here we go. Zoom in, zoom out. That's... Oh, I see. Well, that's kind of awkward. Um, I don't suppose it will recognize Mouse 4? Because I know Thief 1 did not recognize Mouse 4. Yeah. Nope. Not gonna work. Um, shit, I don't know if there's anything better I can assign it to. I, I already have so many controls assigned around WASD. Um, eh. Alright, I'll just leave it. Alright, let's give that a shot. Okay, I was expecting a little bit more... I don't know, fanfare while doing that? I was expecting, like, a zoom noise, you know, like... Nyar, nyar, like, things moving, but apparently it's completely silent. You know what I bet what's happening? I bet that pressing the key simply changes the field of view, and that's the only thing it does. Probably took them, like, two seconds to implement. But anyway, it's serviceable. Alright, well, that's definitely going to come in handy. I wonder... Was that zoom in... Did that zoom exist in Thief 1 after I got the mechanical eye and I just never realized it? I don't know. I don't remember the game ever telling me I could zoom. Hmm. Oh, yeah, and apparently having the blackjack out, um, unlike other weapons, does not increase your visibility. So I'm just going to leave it out. I might as well. I don't think it changes my walk speed... No, doesn't seem to change my walk speed, doesn't change my visibility, so I'm just going to leave it out, because that is my go-to weapon. My trusty blackjack. Hey, how you doing? Mind if I hit you over the head? No, I'll leave you alone. Alright. Oh yeah, the map. Alright, hopefully the maps in Thief 2 are more useful than they were in Thief 1. Uh, let's see. Wow, the text is barely readable. Uh, I'm assuming I started... here? Yeah, that must have been where I started. I think. But then where's that main gate on here? I don't, I don't see the gate. You know what, who cares? Screw the map. <laughs> Just like in Thief 1, screw the map. I will read the level as I go. Oh yeah, something really, really cool that I learned from the manual. And I wonder if it was actually in Thief 1 and I just never realized it. And that's that you can apparently eavesdrop... Um, and hear what's on the other side of a door by leaning into it. So I'm going to have to give that a shot, because that's something I, I wish you could do. Uh, I wish I could do in the first Thief. Although, actually, I wish I could go a little bit further and just, like, peer through the keyhole, so I could see and hear. But still, just just being able to hear alone would have been very nice. So let's give that, that a must shot. must be the door Basso mentioned. Is it working? I'm leaning, but... I don't hear anything changing. Hmm. Good thing the butler's <clears throat> out for the night. He left his lights on. Well, 
Looks like that's just a bunch of silver crap, so no thanks. Yeah, I'm super visible right now, so I'm glad there's no one here. Ooh, these could be sold. Alright, let's test that door thing out again. Oh, it works! Listen, it's beautiful. That is so cool. Was that in Thief 1 the entire time and I didn't realize it? I don't know, I guess it doesn't matter now. That is super useful, because I know a big problem I had in the first Thief is that I would... You basically, you can you can barely hear anything through a door. Like, it's almost completely muffled. And sometimes I would open a door and there'd be someone right there, and I would alert them. Okay. Use that key. Wrong key. Uh, alt. There we go. Okay, I think they're upstairs. Yep, I'm safe for now. Wait a minute. If this door goes to the stairs, then what is this door? Oh, I don't have lockpicks yet. Damn. I don't suppose the same key would work? Where's that key? There it is. Oh, it does. Wait, is that... Oh, it's a double key. Oh. Where does this go? Secrets? Check out that light around the corner. I'd rather my own room. I'm always kind of snoring, but it's all right. I wish I had a sergeant sword, though. Is she just muttering to herself? I think she's talking to herself. Hmm. Jeez. I'm just going to eat that. It was really weird. And I think this was true in Thief 1 and it's still true in Thief 2. If you walk forwards and to the side, so if you walk diagonally, like if you hold W and A or W and D, you actually move faster than if you're just holding one direction. Like, look at this. This is forwards. This is to the right. Left, right, forwards. Now here's forwards and left. Forwards, left. Forwards, forwards and left. Forwards, forwards and right. It's actually faster. It's like it's adding up the movement speeds from both of the directions, and it's actually making you faster. Which is really strange. It makes me want to go through the entire game like this, like turn sideways. <laughs> I think there might be someone right through that door. What's around here? This hallway is too well lit. Better put oh. a water arrow into that torch. That must be. Uh, there must be a guard right behind that door, looking out the window. Okay. So yeah, what do I have in my inventory? I have a sword, blackjack, f oh, fifteen water arrows. My God. And that's it. Damn torches! Always sputtering out. Well, don't just make tap over it. Light it up. I lost my tinder box. Oh, why don't you do it? I ain't the one that's complaining, am I now? Huh. So, is, uh, is either of you gonna come out? Hello? I guess no one's coming out. Some interesting machinery in here. I don't suppose I can break this machine and make all of the lights in the place go out? That would be very handy.
Let's take a look in there. Hello. I wonder if I can knock them both out. The other one would probably hear though. In fact, they might even hear me opening they might even hear me opening the door. Find a key to unlock door. Find a key to unlock door. Is it talking about this door? Don't I have one? Do I want to open the door? I really don't. Then again, maybe I have to knock them out to make way for... What's his name? Basso? I actually don't know what route he has to take. Um... Uh... Uh... God, where am I? Oh, I think... Is this where I am? It seems to be lit up. Oh, no, no, this is where I am. It's all bluish, I guess. I'm in electrics? Or... I don't know. Who the hell knows? Well, someone does, but I don't. So what's upstairs, then? Alright, where am I now? I don't even know what that says. Under... Butler? Is that what it says? Wait, wait, wait. This isn't where I started. This is where I'm going to. This is where I started, right? Oh, yeah, I went through the butler's quarters. Yeah. Okay. So, what is upstairs, then? Because it doesn't look like I'm actually supposed... Wait, wait, wait. Or Wait. Yeah, I don't think I'm actually supposed to go up the stairs, but maybe that's just another route? But this is the route that Basso is going to take, so this is the one I have to clear. So I should go upstairs to check for loot, but I don't think I have to. Alright, well, let's see if this key works. Nope. Alright, so I've got to find a different key. I think it just came from here, right? Yeah. Um, should I go upstairs? Let's go upstairs. I want to find out what's up here. You know, I should actually be... Hello. Oh, shit. I should be quick saving it. And I just did. Oh, shit. That's a really short patrol path. I don't... I don't think I can do it. No, I can't get up there quick enough. I don't think I could, especially not on that hardwood floor. Alright, so that pathway is out. So let's go this way. Alright, there's nothing in here, right? Yep, nothing in here. Let's go down. Don't mind me. You know, I should have listened in on that door before I went in. Wait, so they locked the other door, but they didn't lock this door? That's quite an oversight. the heck is that? Play- oh no, put that down. I don't want a deck of cards. Thought I saw something. How could you have seen something? God, do the- yeah. Looks like it's peaceful again. Don't tell me the Thief 2 AI has like a 360 degree vision like they seem to in Thief 1. What's that? Look, what's that? What's what? She can't see me. Ugh, I need a nap. I won't be so spooked then. There's no way she can see me here. Doesn't even even if I was full red, it shouldn't matter. She her field of view, her field of vision does not include me. Stand around. Good thing. Good arm. Whoops! I just sprinted. I got it used to the fact that I, I think. God, I don't even remember, but I think in Thief One, I held down Shift to walk, or to to like creep or something. But now normal is walking, and if I hold down shift, I run. So it's a little bit different. 
I'll get used to it. I should have listened in, but I didn't again. Keep forgetting about that. Hello, my friend, the flash bomb. What is this? Oh, healing potion. And what are these? Flare. What? What? What can I do with a flare? I mean, obviously a flare would make light, but why would I want to make light? Uh, let's try it. Oh, hello. What is that? A secret? Draw flare to leave in this area, or use flare to throw it. Why would I want to use a flare? I mean, light is my enemy. Is it... Maybe it's a distraction? Maybe the light would distract the guards? I don't know. Let's press this, though. Hello. Why does that look like TNT up there? I have no idea what that is. Maybe it's just a can of Campbell's soup. I need to listen in. I keep forgetting. Let's do that. Alright, there's someone in there. Oh. Hello? You gonna turn around? I don't think he's turning around. Okay, let's go. Another guard up ahead. Time to knock him out while his back is turned. I wonder if I actually need to go this slow. Actually, let's test this. I want to get a feel for the AI. I'm not going to creep. I'm just going to walk. Walk crouch. Might as well take that money. Excellent. Mm, what about here? Looks like a good place to put a body. Just put you right here. Okay, where am I now? I don't even know. I th This must be telling me where I am, but I don't understand what it's saying. Before, just this was blue, but now this and that is blue, and this is lit up, and we have the red line. So, where am I? Let's see if this changes it. Okay, so it's what's lit up as yellow is where I am. So I'm here in the steam... whatever that says, steam plant. This should be the hallway. Okay, now I'm in the hallway. So I think the blue stuff is just telling me where I've been. Which is actually pretty cool. It's good to know. So you can kind of, at a glance, tell generally where you've already traveled through. <clears throat> Alright, let's go back, because I know I missed some stuff. Came from there. Oh yeah, I guess I... I, guess I, I probably need to take out the guards. The, am I stuck on something? What the hell? There we go. Alright, so I could flash bomb the guards. But. These guards seem unhappy with their jobs. They're constantly muttering to themselves. 
All right, I don't think I could beat both of them with a billy club or blackjack. The other would probably hear. Um, but let's try it. What's that? MLG blackjack, yeah. 360 blackjack. So the other one did hear, but I had a second to react before they actually turned around. So, excellent. Good to know. I wonder why it says find key to unlock door. There's really no point. I think I've explored all of that. Been there, been there, been there. Alright, let's let's go ahead. Hello there, guard. Keep forgetting to listen in. Nothing. Alright, this is the kitchen. Yep. The heck is that? That's money? Oh. I thought maybe it was like a sack of potatoes or something. It is a kitchen after all. Oh my god, the deer legs are back. I'll just eat that. Mm. Two deer legs, two baguettes, some cheese. And now I'm a very overweight assassin. Oh, but you know what? I just had a carrot. That has lots of vitamins, so it was a healthy meal, even though it was like 10,000 calories. I hear you. Oh, they're upstairs. I think, yeah. Yeah, they're upstairs. Anything to sell here? No, it doesn't look like it. I think these... I don't think I can sell these, can I? Nah. I wonder who the golden blade is for. Doesn't matter, because I'm stealing it. Okay, I think I'm here. So there should be some guards. Oh, upstairs. Should be some guards through one of these doors. Not sure which. I didn't listen in again. Keep forgetting. Just take this out. I've got so many water arrows, it doesn't matter. Once again, I forgot to listen in. Oh. wait until he turns around and take him out. Good enough. There we go.
Once again, I forgot to listen in. Oh my god, am I just gonna keep forgetting? Oh, I'm, I'm here now? Wait a minute. If that's that, then through this other door there must be guards. Because I, I just went through here. Yeah, this is the storeroom. So there must be guards through... which door? Wait, what? Oh, you don't access it from here, you access it from... I'm confused. Okay, so I need to go northwest to get there. Which is this way. What's that? Nothing. Probably just the wind. Okay. Whew. I don't suppose he turns around? Is there another way in there? It looks, it, according to this map, it looks like there's a door right there, but I didn't see one. No, I don't, I don't see the door. Weird. Do I have to take him out? Actually, I don't think I do have to take him out. The red line doesn't go, doesn't go past there. So let's just go this way and ignore him. Silence. Should be safe. Alright, does this take me to the guard? No, it just takes me to the other side of the guard. Alright, this is fine. Totally fine. So this would be that door to the servant's quarters. Which is... Silent. Also silent. It really is amazing how dark this game is. I actually have the, uh, actually have the gamma cranked way up. It's at like, well, I'll just show you. It's there. Default was right in the middle. So it's like in between normal and max. And this is how dark it is. Here, here's what it looks like on normal. Yeah. I just realized something. This is the servants' quarters, which means I'm basically stealing from people that need the money the most. I'm such an asshole. Hmm, what is this? Dunya? Is that what it says? Dunya? Sometimes I think I miss the days when crime ruled the streets, as a sheriff would have it. Either way, we walk in fear, but before we lost at most a purse, while well, now we may be shut up in iron simply for seeing the wrong thing at the wrong time. Give me the old days back again, and a pox upon Truert and all his thugs. Oh, sounds like Truert. True. God, that's kind of hard to say. Truert. Truart? Truart? That, that just feels totally wrong to say. But it sounds like True Art is some sort of a thug crime lord. Interesting. I'm guessing because he's mentioned, I'm probably going to encounter him at some point. Or at least his lackeys. True Art. True Art. True Art. True... Fuck. Fuck that word. <laughs> it's almost as bad as rural. I hate that word. It's the worst. Worst word ever invented. All right, I am almost there. Should be right around the corner. Right? I think so. 
I heard that. Not again. Oh well. Wait, did I just go in a circle? Is this... No, I'm, I'm back here. What the hell? How did I go in a circle? Well, that's her door. I guess Basso can open it. He's not much of a sneak, but he can sure handle a lock. All right, I think uh, I think that's all I need to do. Once you're ready for him to go, get the signal. You have to be close enough for him to hear it. And then I need to get them out. Um, yeah, I think I'm basically done. I'm just going to explore a little bit of the rest of the house, see if I can find some stuff to steal, and then give them the call. Oh, what is this? Oh. I thought maybe there'd be some sort of a waterway down here that took me to some secret place, but instead it's just a puddle of water with some strange pillars. Alright, where's this? Alright, so I should be here. So I think this is going to go upstairs. A wall of boxes. Did they seriously try to hide their loot behind a wall of boxes in a storeroom? Seriously? Yeah, good job. Totally didn't see that. There's only a glowing mushroom behind a wall of boxes. Why is there a baguette here? Did someone take a picnic next to the glowing mushroom behind a wall of boxes? Well... Oh wait, these aren't gold? I can't take them? Damn. Well, I can take that. Chunk of... gold? Or copper? Now we have a wood floor, so it's pretty damn loud. That goes upstairs. I don't even know what that says. House... I think it says house something. Wait, did I just see something flash up? What was that? Nah, I don't think it was anything. Oh, it's just like a weird shadow bug. It's the side of the bed. Nothing. Alright, let's check out upstairs. Hopefully, coming in from this side instead of this side will give me a better angle. Better angle of approach. Actually, it already is giving me a better angle because it's completely in the dark. Very loud floors, though. Unfortunately. Okay, so he heard something and he was wondering what it was, but he didn't care enough to turn his head around? <laughs> Guard of the Year. What great people they've hired. Alright, is there a map for upstairs? There is. Hello. 
There must be some valuables up here. Hello? I'm just gonna stay right here. Let's close that door, actually. Don't want the other guard to see me when I do this. Here, why don't you go to the bathroom? Oh, tile, this is so loud. Clickety, clackety. Do I have to go through all this just to get to the actual bathroom bathroom? There you go, why don't you soak for a while, my friend? Close enough. Is that a mirror? Here, why don't you give yourself a scrub too? You look a bit dirty. Alright, let's take out this guard. I don't know where he is. He's somewhere over there. I don't know if he's coming down or walking up there or what. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh shit. Whew. Okay. around at just the worst moment. I almost had him. Man, why is this place completely dark up here? Not that I'm complaining, but that's creepy. God, wouldn't it be creepy to be a guard patrolling completely dark rooms at night? Creep me the hell out. Well, it doesn't really matter where I put him because it's completely in the dark, so why don't you go here? And given that it's dark, I'm guessing there's probably no one up here. I think that's a safe bet. Because people usually don't hang out in the dark. What the hell is going on in that picture? I don't even know what I'm looking at, but I'm guessing it's horrible violence and torture as those pictures usually depict. Yeah, there's got to be some valuables up here. This looks like this is where the rich people live. Spectacles. Are they spectacles for a baby? Because they look way too small. Look, that's a key. If that's a key, look at the size of the spectacles. Those are way too small. Hello? Fuck, thought you could hide from me, did you? <sighs> now Garrett can be a queen! Yeah, I'm not gonna sell that piece, I'm just gonna wear it around the house. What 
the fuck is going on in that picture? <laughs> I don't even... What? Are those children? I guess they're children. But that one looks like it has a look of anguish on its face. What the hell? Those, those old pictures are always so creepy. Alright, I think that's it for this area. Oh. There's actually a pretty looking plant in Thief 2 instead of that disgusting blood sponge that I saw throughout the entirety of Thief 1. Hopefully I never see that thing again, because that thing was disgusting. Alright, where have I been? Where am I? I'm here. Time to go down. I need to go north. And this way. <clears throat> I wonder what this key is for. Now, whatever it is, I have two of it. I could be a musician. Holy hell, this is a beautiful room. What did they do in here? I mean, what's the use of it? It's beautiful, but... It, it looks like a throne room. There's gotta be something valuable here. Let me just check for guards first. I guess I need a key for this. This one? There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, that's the Great Hall. Alright, I'm just gonna close those doors. That is a very strange fire. I don't think wood burns like that. Hmm, where does that go? Alright, now I'm going down the other way. Oh, shit. Book it! You know, maybe I should just avoid going there. I think I should. I found plenty of loot, I'm good. I really don't need any more. What is up with that ceiling? Is that like a bit of a cave? It's kind of intruding upon the ceiling? What is that? It's so bright. Look at that. That's tile in there. No way. Nope. I have no moss arrows. It's tile. It's completely bright. And there's no torches I can take out. Too dangerous. Way too dangerous. Hello. <clears throat> Show yourself. What is that? <laughs> There's a golden goblet and some cheese right in the middle of the courtyard. 
Um, I don't think it's worth it. Oh shit. Uh, looks like nothing. Maybe I can do something here. I didn't know he came out. Where are you going? Oh yeah, pro thief. I think he saw me. Nope, I'm good. Oh, shit. I thought the guard I just took out was that one. There's another one? Where did he come from? Shit. Alright, now it's definitely not worth it. Never mind, forget it. <laughs> forget it for real this time. Okay, so I need to get back to... What's his name? Basso? So I could try to sneak through the main courtyard... Or I could just go back the way I came, which would definitely be safer. Let's scope this out. And that's awfully bright. Yeah, I'm going in I'm going back the way I came. from. I think I go this way. I hope the level design doesn't go absolutely apeshit insane. Ah, I go this way. I hope the level design doesn't go totally crazy like it did in Thief 1. Because so far, so far I like the level design. This makes sense. Everything makes sense. There's storerooms and stuff and there's no massive bizarre caverns and weird things, so I hope they keep this up, and I hope everything doesn't turn into mazes like it did in Thief 1, because that was annoying. That was really annoying. But so far, it's good. Alright, I should be able to sprint the rest of the way. I think I, I, think I took out all the guards. Alright, let's see if he can hear it from here. Nope. Come on, Basso, are you deaf? There we go. I'm just going to shadow him, make sure he gets there safe. I wonder what would happen if I knocked him out. Would I fail the mission? What are you doing? Hello? There you go. He was contemplating his life. I think this is a golden one that I can sell, right? Yeah.
There we go. I love it. It's, it's like it took her five seconds to realize who he was. Unlocks the door, opens it, dramatically stands in front of her. Basso! <gasps> it's like it took her that long to realize who he was. What are you doing? What the hell? Um. Okay. Totally normal. What is that? That's oh, a key. A key to what? I don't know, but I gotta catch up with him. Let's go. Mission complete. And I managed to not do anything incredibly stupid. Oh my god. That's amazing. Alright, continue. Business has been kind of slow these days, thanks to Sheriff Gorman Truart. He's been coming down hard on my competition and anyone else he deems unlawful. I've been playing it safe by keeping a low profile, but as my landlord recently reminded me, the rent is late. He says he's going to pay me a visit tomorrow to collect, so I'll have to go amateur for some quick cash. The warehouses by the docks should fit the bill. In addition to the usual shipping traffic, there's also a small smuggling operation sponsored by the local underground. Not too many guards, lots of dark corners, and several points of entry should make this job painless and profitable. Maybe I'll even have something left over for myself once the rent is paid. <laughs> Wasn't that long ago that I was planning on my retirement. Now the only thing that's getting retired is my standards. If things get any worse, I'll have to go back to picking pockets in the streets. <clears throat> Alright, Building A is a warehouse which m many tenants use to run their businesses. In the main office, you should be able to find out how to break into the sealed areas of Building A. I need at least 500 monies to pay the landlord. Return to the stack of crates where you first entered the warehouse district when you're done. Alright, sounds pretty straightforward. Okay, so apparently, according to, um... According to the manual, and I think even someone commented upon this, um, for Thief 1, apparently the money you earn during missions can only be spent during this, like, pre-game before the next mission. So the money you earn does not carry over between missions. It only you can only spend it on the next mission and then it's gone. So in other words, there's absolutely no point in saving money. It's totally pointless. So I might as well buy as much as I can. As always, intelligence is probably my most uh the most important thing to have, so let's grab that. Mm, definitely grab some more water arrows. I'll take all of those. Do I have any flash bombs? No, I don't. Slow fall? What? Hmm. Oh, wait, I already have some. Interesting. So they're adding in some new items for Thief 2. That should come in handy. Alright, do I have any moss arrows? No, I don't. I'll take that. And I will take both of those. Good to go. And some of these textures that I know have been upgraded 
from Taffer Patch. Some of them look really good, like these boxes. Some really nice textures. <sighs> wow. That jump did not go as far as I thought. I almost fell down. Looks like there's a guard over there. An address. Looks like we have a lot of verticality to this level. I guess that's probably why I have the slow fall potion. Alright, let's take a look at the map. Building A, that's what's right in front of me, I think. Yeah. Yep, I'm right there. And then I should probably hit up building B as well, since I want more money than just what I need for my rent. I've got to treat myself, man. I need some extra money so I can get a manicure. Get my hair done. Put on my, uh, my golden queen crown. All right, well, let's just go in. To climb our mantle, yep, yep, already know. Definitely want to enter from the top. It's probably the safer way to go, but let's check out what's down here first. No one in there. Ooh, I have my lockpicks. Hello. Oh, need a key. Don't think I have one. No, I don't. I don't know what's in there, so I'm here. Yep, I'm going back. <clears throat> um, let's just enter in from the top. What is that? Lady Angelica Experimental Apothecary. Experimental Apothecary. So they make like alchemical potions and stuff, I guess. Potion testers needed. Inquire within. Uh oh. Looks like we have some human testing going on. Cannot use lock. Cannot use lock. Wait, lockbox, locked door? Find the lockbox for this door to unlock it? What's a lockbox? Yeah, there's, there isn't even a keyhole. Lockbox? What's a lockbox? Here we go. Uh. Jesus, all of these things are locked. Can I use this locked door? Perhaps there's a button or switch somewhere that can open it. Everything is locked. This one too? Oh no, this one opens. Oh, this one's closed. Hello? What is that? Looks like a couple of burnt pieces of wood. Okay. Oh, so I guess I could use the slow fall potion to land and then take him out, although it depends how slow it actually makes me. Because if it's kind of fast, then it's going to make a noise and he's probably going to turn around. All 
Oh, there's two guards over there. There's quite a lot of guards in the front. <sighs> oh god, that was loud. Shit. Yeah, they heard that. That was a bad idea. Bad idea. Really bad idea. Oh shit, there's a guard up here. <clears throat> Fuck. Just wait till I find you. There's no way he's gonna be able to make it up here. Alright, um, let's test out a slow fall potion. Nice. You should get some sleep. I remember what it was like to sleep. Boss left this morning and put me in charge of unloading and cataloging all the incoming shipments for the menu. Every single bloody thing they order is made out of metal. I've been lifting heavy crates all day long. I think my back is about to break. Bunch of taffers in this city. I live near Dayport. I used to have a nice view of the mountains. I used to watch the sunrise with my wife every uh. morning. But now, that metal monstrosity casts a permanent shadow over my house. <gasps> oh, the Mechanist Tower, you mean? The city has certainly changed over the last year. A lot of that's because of the Mechanists. I was in Dayport just last week. All the trees are gone, and there are giant chimneys spewing out foul soot. My whole neighborhood stinks of <clears throat> blackened air. My house used to be white, but now it's gone gray with that smudge. And my son coughs constantly. Well, there's more to the mechanist than just factories. While I was in Dayport, I had to stop by the mechanist tower to pick up a payment. I couldn't believe what I saw. They had these mechanical faces that watched me and sent shivers down my spine, I tell you. <sighs> yeah, I know all about those metal watchers. They installed some here in the building B the other day. I heard they plan on replacing us guards with them because they don't need to give them pay at the end of the week. I heard rumors that we're all going to be fired. If that's true, then I'll have to live in the woods like a pagan. Ah, what the hell? Shit. You don't see me, do you? Alright, everyone seems to know. Shit. Why don't you try this on precise? Right Alright. I guess we gotta gather everyone up. No, Shit. This has gone south. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No flash bombs left. This has gone to shit. And what ensues is the most pathetic fight ever recorded. He shouldn't be dead, he's on... Shit, I killed... Alright, I'm loading. Nah. Alright, let's just go the other way. I don't want to kill anyone. I'll just go this way. Well, that guard should be an easy target. Just gonna stick you in the corner here. <gasps> oh, 
Are those bags of money? What is this? Nope, they're just bags. Oh, shit. Oh, he doesn't even know I'm here. I'm just gonna hang out. I'm kind of committed to this position now. I don't think I can move. Seriously? Well, I mean, I guess it's fair enough. I was, like, two feet in front of him, even though I was in complete darkness. Still, even in complete darkness, you'd probably see someone two feet in front of you. So it's good to know, even complete darkness does not make you completely invisible. Just mostly invisible. God damn, there's another one. Let's get in here. <gasps> hmm, is this worth any money? It is. Not very much. Fifteen. I'm guessing this probably closes this massive door, which would probably make massive noise. So I'm just going to leave that. Let's have that come up. Or down. Oh, is the down button broken? It's not there. It can only go up, it can't go down. Damn it. Let's admire the art. There's a person. It's a person staring blankly at the wall. People fighting. Fruit. People. A sorceress and some creature. A person with a skull in her lap. Some sort of fantasy picture. A skull. And another fantasy picture. Lovely art. What does this one say? Let thine arrow fly into mine crystal eye. Arrow fly into my crystal eye. I'm guessing that's a hint? There's something with a crystal eye? And something happens if I shoot an arrow into it? I'll have to keep a lookout. Crystal eye. Any crystal eyes on these statues? I don't think so. No. Nope. Alright, it's gotta be somewhere else then. <clears throat> the guard is right there. Are you. Is he looking at me or away from me? Uh, away. Alright, let's take him out. That person is rather inconveniently just staring out. I don't think he's going he's going to move. Hmm. Hello. Just hang out in this corner. Get my flash bomb. Wait, do I not have a flash bomb? Shit, I don't have flash bombs left. Uh-oh. Oh wait, he's going this way. Which means I can't take him out. Oh my god. 
There are a lot of guards up there. All right, book it. You have been evicted. Take two days to clear out your things or they will be removed by the management. Uh-oh. Another lockbox. Lucky Selentura, entrepreneur. Apparently not a very successful one. I hear right. Captain Davidson came into port about four hours ago. That's what I heard. I hope that dirty smuggler brought us some spice. There's none to be found anywhere within this cursed city anymore. I know what you mean. I used to grow my own spice, as well as fruits and vegetables, but all my crops died months ago and won't grow back no matter what I try. It's as if all the plant life in the city up and died. Have you noticed that all the trees in Eastport are wilted and dead? Maybe Davidson will smuggle in trees next. <laughs> I don't know where he's getting the spice from, but his prices are steep. He's quickly becoming a rich man. Whew. That was close. Jesus. There's so many cards. Back, I hear one right now. I think he's coming around the corner. Just gotta figure out somewhere to put these bodies where they don't get seen. <laughs> Say, these guards don't have keys on them that I'm missing, do they? popular musician. His unpublished work should be valuable. Hmm. TM Blackheart, musician. Once again, need a lockbox. Still don't even know what a lockbox is. At least not within this context. Obviously a box that can be locked, that holds valuables, that's one thing it could be, but that wouldn't unlock doors, so that can't be it. Could I make it from the roof to the ladder? Maybe. But why don't I just climb this stack of boxes instead? That's a bit safer. Mino makes the best steaks in the entire city. His recipes may catch me a pretty penny. You know, this is really cool. I like that there's these unconventional things for me to steal. You know, it's not just like golden chalices and stuff, but it's recipes and and music and stuff like that, because that totally makes sense. That would actually be valuable. That's really cool. Alright, I think I'm back near the beginning, yeah. Yep, right back at the beginning. Oh shit. Well, not quite back at the beginning. I started here and now I'm here. Oh shit. Um You must be Uriel. Well, you're late. I thought I made it clear to you in cameras that I don't like to be kept waiting. Be thankful I treat with the at all, unbeliever. Is late, and I seek to finish here quickly that I may return to my brethren. Well, my cranky friend, head this way and I'll show you to your shipment. You know, you hammers used to bring a lot of money my way, but I haven't seen you around lately. I require but a fourth part of my usual order. It is all we are needful of, for our numbers have fallen since the rise of the accursed heretics. Heretics? You mean the mechanists, right? Speak not that accursed name to me. 
They follow not the way of the master builder, but a false prophet who twists holy scripture to his own selfish desire. Nay, worse still, those infidels would raise his lies to the level of holy word. I've been hearing a lot about them lately. Don't know what to think of them yet, but it seems like they've got plans to improve the city, making life better for people like me, which is more than you hammers ever did. The heretics are not but a trial for the faithful of the builder. They know nothing of devotion, of faith, of craftsmanship, or skill, and blindly follow the path of lies, greed, and deception. Markest thou my warning? <laughs> to the master builder, he will separate steel from dross, and those who follow falsehoods instead of faith will be forever cast aside. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Let's just go and finish up our business. MLG key grab. Good, they're going inside. That makes my job a lot easier. Let's take out this dude. is this? Alright, so key. What is this key? Building a key. Alright, so is that what this is for? Did that work? I don't think this is that key is going to open any of these lockbox doors. Because there isn't even a keyhole. Nope. Sid Capeza, inventor. Maybe lockpick? Scouting orb? The heck does that do? Interesting, there are a lot of new items in Thief 2. Some fun new contraptions to play with. Alright, well maybe that key opens up the doors up there. So let's go explore up there again. Uh, how do we get over? From the other side. This is building A, isn't it? Yeah, building A. Oh, I never went in there, did I? No, I don't think I did. Nope, alright. Don't know what that key is for. Except that it's something in building A, and why do the why is that roof made out of what looks to be burnt pieces of wood? That totally looks like burnt wood. Why would you use that for a roof? Makes no sense. I hear people. Yeah, I've seen at least two guards up here on the rafters for building A. At least I think it was for building A. It's for one of the buildings. There we go. There's a guard behind there. I think there might be a guard behind that window. Nope.
It's a rather ominous corridor. Going to save that one for later. Alright, let me finish exploring this level. Ooh, there's someone right out there. Is it two? Is it two people or just one? It sounds like two. You don't- wait a minute, I just realized there's no way I could sneak up on them, it's too damn loud. And there's no way I can take out two even if I could sneak up on them. Although I do have moss arrows. But, nah, it's not worth it. Totally not worth it. Oh shit. I have no flash bombs left. What is up with these lockbox doors? Yeah, they're all lockboxed. Where does that go? Looks like a garbage chute. No thanks. Hmm. I think I saw something back here that may be related to the lockboxes. Or was it? Oh shit. Do you see me? I think I'm fine. No, I think I'm fine. Whoa. Whoa, what? Objective complete, huh? What? Break into the main office of building A? I did that? Wait, is that something that's supposed to be triggered when I go inside of this building and it triggered just because I got, like, really close to it? Hmm. Okay, this looks like some grand mail system or something. J. J. Rampone, Vice President Rampone Dockside Shipping. Ooh, hello. That'll pay the rent. Part of it. Weekly financial report. Oh, I think that's the musician. Rent paid in full. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so this is a guy that was being... The entrepreneur that was being uh, evicted, right? All right, what? Yeah, I think this. Is, I think this is mail. Noah Germ lens grinder. I hold thy work in much regard, and thou knowest. Knowest it was on mine own recommendation that my brotherhood contracted thy work. I trust by now thou hast received a small shipment of Adenizio crystal. By the coming weekend I shalt need ten lenses ground from the crystal thou hast received. Each lens must span three units in width with a breadth of exactly two units. Grind thou... Grind thou one face concave and one convex. Make haste and then bring me thy work for my approval. Friend Capeza, 0457. This is Lord Porter, fine art for sale. Our yearly inspection of your space was last week. Our inspector found that he could not get to the second floor because the elevator button on the first, on the first floor was broken. What do you know, I've encountered that. Why didn't you report this problem? Please see me about this matter. I don't like it when a piece of equipment on my property is not working. 
We have also been receiving complaints from E.B. Bramrich. He rents the office space below your second floor office and he claims to be hearing odd noises late at night. Please look into that. J. Rampone, Vice President. Hmm. Odd noises late at night. Guess what time it is, late at night. I guess if I go in there I'm going to find out what is causing those odd noises. Maybe he's keeping a strange creature locked up or something? We'll see. Now it's for Lord Porter. And this is the unlucky, lucky Selentura entrepreneur that's being evicted. <laughs> you have been evicted. Take two days. Yep. Already read that. That's on his door. And Rampone. President Rampone Dockside Shipping. <clears throat> I was recently contracted by the Mechanists to develop special lenses for them. I just received a small shipment of rare and valuable Adenizio crystal for this purpose. For security reasons, I would like to request the installation of a metal face into my area within the next week. I don't have the funds to replace the crystals if they get stolen and I hear Mechanists can be unforgiving. Noah Germ. Installation of a metal face. Alright, so it sounds like the crystals are hidden behind something. I guess a metal face, whatever that means. Oh, I just realized these... Yeah, okay, they can have multiple pages. But if they do, then something will show up on the side. Like this one. Our tenant, Lucky Selentura, has not paid his rent in quite a while. No one has seen him for weeks, and I've been wanted... And I've seen wanted posters in the city streets with his picture on it lately. <laughs> I've been suspicious of him for quite a while, and I'd bet you his golden dice that he was running a gambling ring out of that space. I don't think he'll be back with the blue coats looking for him. I have put an eviction notice on his area, 0266, and I plan on clearing out the place in a few days to rent it to Gonzales. Gonzales. I felt bad that we had to throw Gonzales out to make room for Capeza, so I cut him a deal on his on this space, seeing that it's smaller than his old area. Speaking of Capeza, could you ask him to keep the noise down? Office personnel only. Alright, so this must be the lockbox. Mechanist technology! This device is now configured for these so that the managers of the warehouse may st easily enter any tenant's area at any time. When thou wishest to open such a locked area, thou must needst enter the four numerals of its address into this keyed device. When thou hast entered the correct number, see that it shall display on the dials to thy left. This shalt cause the large green bay door of thy desired area to open. Thou mayst only open one door at one time, and if thou open another door, the first shalt close. If thou hast any questions, direct them at once to me. Friend Capeza 0457. So wait, how does this work? Okay. Key. Key to what? So wait, I have to come back here every single time I want to open something? Oh my god. That's gonna get tiresome. So right now it's 6937. Alright, um, should I write this down? Or does it say on the door? Let me write it down. Capesa 0457. 0457. Alright, yeah, I guess I just have to come back here every time I want want to uh do it. Say the number. Okay. So Selentura. Zero two six six.
All right. So I've got two numbers, Capeza and Celentura. And right now, Capeza is open. Hmm, where the hell did I come in from? Oh god. I can't even read that. Oh, so it actually says the numbers on the map. I didn't even really have to write it down then. Alright, I'm in the main office. Hmm, let's see. Capeza 0457. Actually, before I do that, before I start opening everyone's doors, uh, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Let's go back into the main office. There we go. Save the game. Okay, so, so far, uh, I'm really enjoying Thief 2. I think the, um, the graphical upgrades that have been done for Thief 2 seem to be more extensive than they were for Thief 1, because it really is a much better looking game than Thief 1. Um, and I'm pretty sure the graphics, when they originally came out, weren't really any different. I think Thief 2 basically looked exactly the same as Thief 1, just based on what I've seen from some screenshots. Um, but yeah, the upgrades seem to make it look a lot better than Thief 1 looked. So, it's looking good. The gameplay is... You just heard someone come in. Hello. The, uh... The gameplay is very, very similar to Thief 1. Everything seems almost exactly the same. The only difference I can tell is just that there's new items. But so far, the, uh, the level design seems a lot tamer. It seems less insane. I'll have to see how it is later in the game, because Thief 1 did get more and more insane in the level design as you went on. But so far, it's, uh, it's very good. I'm liking it. I'm actually enjoying it more than Thief 1 so far. So, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.